Hello everyone, my name is Rick Arter and today I'd like to show you guys how to remove a Molex connector. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a male to female pass-through Molex connector from a fan. The things that you will need is the fan itself, a piece of paper and a pen to write down the pin orientation, tape, and something to remove the pins with. Now there's two ways that you can mark the pins here. I prefer to take a piece of tape and mark red and the black directly on the connector so when I'm putting it back together there's no mistaking myself. You also can, as I did with this three pin connector, write down the wire orientation along with the direction of the plug itself to not get yourself mixed up while you're putting it back together. And uh, this is for removing these pins here. Now when you use this, what you need to do is, there's like a little door here. What you need to do is just take your finger under here, pop the door open, comes open quite easy, make sure you don't try it the other way or you'll break it. And your pins are right inside of here. Now this can be quite deceiving because when you look at it, it almost looks like you're going to have to take all four of these out. But, since there's only two wires, once you open the door, you only have to remove the two pins on the one side. So basically here we're going to do that real quick. Now when you look in here there's two little flared uh, clips that stick out of where the pin is. What you want to do is take your tool, you can either use a power supply modding tool like this one from Sunbeam Tech or you can use a staple or a strong uh, pin, that works too. So what you want to do is you want to find your little tabs here then bend them in. Sometimes this can take a few tries to get it. Get that one on that side. And then they pop right out. Simple as that. And now you're looking at the female male pass through, which is inside of this connector. Now to install these, what you're going to have to do is your little tabs that you pushed in, it's kind of hard to see, I apologize, you want to take a pin, because this tool right here and a staple might be too big, you want to take a pin, just gently bend these tabs back out so that they flare. Now once these are flared out, you're going to want to basically do what you did to remove them push them back in there until you hear a little little click make sure that you do them in the right orientation of what you took them out as you can see on mine I labeled it black and red and uh, once you push them back in plug the fan in make uh, plug the fan in disconnect the fan plug it back in make sure the connectors are all seated properly then once you're done with that you're ready to go uh, removing these connectors is very good if you're going to install other connectors or if you're going to sleeve the fan, which I will be doing to this fan right here. So this also helps, so when you sleeve it, you just kind of take these, tuck them back like this, tape them together, slide your sleeving and everything over that, and then uh, bend them back, and then reconnect them, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something. A lot of more how-to videos to come. If you have any questions, please send me a personal message here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.